In this lesson, we will practice solving quadratic equations such as these by using radicals. And many of these answers will be imaginary answers. So for number one, you would subtract six from both sides. And that's going to give you x squared is equal to negative four. Then you go ahead and take the square root of both sides. Now this is the type where you're going to need plus or minus. Anytime you're taking the square root of both sides of an equation, your answer is going to be plus or minus. Now when we have a negative underneath a radical, that's going to be i. So I know I'm going to have i. You know, so you could basically, um, all right, we took the square root, so this is just x now. So this is going to be plus or minus, and I'm going to have my i. But then uh, the square root of 4 is 2. So that's going to be 2i. So that's going to be the answer. Um, on this one, first you have to subtract 12 from both sides. So that gives us x minus 6 squared is equal to negative 9. Um, once you have uh, the parentheses by themselves, you can take the square root of both sides. Don't forget your plus or minus. All right, that cancels out the exponent, so we just have x minus 6 is equal to plus or minus. Square root of 9 is 3. Because a negative is under the radical, it'll be i. Whoa, well, I'm not done. Still have to get x by itself, so we have to take an additional step adding 6 to both sides. This has to go in front before the plus or minus. So that's going to give you x equals 6 plus or minus 3i. Notice you cannot add or subtract these numbers. All right? This means this means 6 plus 3i or 6 minus 3i. Either way, these are not like terms. You can't go any further. All right, um, number three. First, you subtract 7 from both sides. That's going to leave you with x plus 3 squared is equal to negative 5. Now you would use your square root to unsquare both sides. Um, don't forget, this side will be plus or minus. And that's going to give you x plus 3 is equal to plus or minus. Now this negative under the radical is an i. So I have i radical 5. The radic radical 5 cannot be simplified, so leave it alone. Then you just subtract 3 from both sides. Put that in the front. So that gives you x is equal to negative 3 plus or minus i radical 5. OK, number 4. We're going to add 10 to both sides first. So that leaves us with x minus 5 is equal to negative 54. Uh, yeah, that's still squared. Now we take the square root of both sides to unsquare this, like so. When you take the square root of both sides, the solution is plus or minus. So now I have x minus 5 is equal to plus or minus. I know I'm going to have i because of the negative. Um, so the uh, square root of 54 is 3 radical 6. And the i goes right in the middle. All right, as far as if you wanted to use your calculator for this, OK square root of 54. So you see it's 3 radical 6. So just remember, if you have something like uh, you want to take the square root of something negative, um, 
uh, do not try to type it in with the negative you're going to get an error message type it in without the negative and then just put the I in the middle of your answer anyway we're not done we still need to add 5 to both sides put it in the front so we'll have x is equal to 5 plus or minus 3i radical 6 All right, on this one we have to first add 15 to both sides. So that is going to leave us with x plus 4 squared is equal to um, 64. Now it's time to take the square root of both sides. So if I take the square root here, square root here, this will be plus or minus. That's going to leave me with x plus 4 is equal to plus or minus. Square root of 64 is 8. Now I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides. Being very careful to put it right in the front before the plus or minus. So I'll have x is equal to negative 4 plus or minus 8. Now, comparing this to the previous problem, um, I did not add or subtract the 3 because these are not like terms, right? I have i and a radical. This has an i and a radical. But this is just a regular number. Um, negative 4 and 8 can be added uh, and they can be subtracted. So we need to go ahead and do that. So, in other words, how much room do I have here? Um, this means two things. It means negative 4 plus 8, um, and it also means negative 4 minus 8. Negative 4 plus 8 is 4. Negative 4 minus 8 is negative 12. So those are the two answers, 4 or negative 12. You have to keep going. You cannot stop here. All right, on this one, we must first subtract 84 from both sides. That leaves us with 3x squared is equal to negative 75. And then uh, we will divide both sides by 3 to get rid of the 3. That's going to leave us with, with x squared is equal to negative 25. Time to take the square root. Square root, square root, don't forget your plus or minus. Um, so I have x is equal to plus or minus 5i. Square root of 25 is 5, the negative makes it i. So that's it for number 6. Start off by subtracting 76 from both sides. So that's going to leave me 2 times x minus 2 squared is equal to negative 72. Now you would divide both sides by 2. Do not distribute. So that's going to give us x minus 2 squared is equal to negative 36. Now you would take the square root of both sides being careful not to forget your plus or minus. So now that leaves us with x minus 2 is equal to plus or minus 6i. Um, so wait, wait, that's not the final answer. So I now to get x by itself, I have to add 2 to both sides and put it in the front. So x is equal to 2 plus or minus 6i. Final answer. All right, so for number 8, we start off by subtracting 44 from both sides. So far, I have 4 times x plus 4 
squared is equal to negative 28. Um, then we divide both sides by 4. So that's going to give us x plus 4 <laughs> squared. That scared me. That's going to give us negative 7. And then uh, we'll take the square root of both sides. Don't forget your plus or minus. So that'll be x plus 4 is equal to plus or minus. Now the negative is going to become an i, and then we have the radical 7. Uh, but you can't do anything with the square root of 7, so that part is finished. But now we will subtract 4 from both sides, being careful to put it in the front before the plus or minus. So you will get x is equal to negative 4 plus or minus i radical 7. Adding 26 to both sides. Leaves us with 2 times x minus 7 squared is equal to 98. And then we divide both sides by 2. Do not distribute the 2. Whatever you do, you can't do that when there's an exponent. So, um, so far now I have x minus 7 squared is equal to um, 49. Now it's time to take the square root of both sides. Don't forget your plus or minus. So that's going to leave me with x minus 7, all right, the radical unsquares this, is equal to plus or minus 7. And so now we add 7 to both sides. Put it in the front, please. So x is equal to 7 plus or minus 7. Okay, notice that this will not be plus or minus 14. You can't just take the 7 and then do 7 plus 7 here. Alright, 7 plus or minus 7 means two separate answers. Alright, it means 7 plus 7 and it means 7 minus 7. 7 plus 7 is 14, right? But the other answer is not negative 14. 7 minus 7 is 0. So these are your two possible answers. All right, last problem. Subtract 27 from both sides. This is going to leave us with negative 135. Do not distribute this 3. You cannot distribute when there is an exponent on the parentheses. Instead, we need to divide both sides by negative 3. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is 45. But I'm not sure enough not to check. Okay, so that's going to be 45. Of course, a negative divided by a negative is positive. Then you take the square root of both sides. All right, as soon as we take the square root of both sides, the solution will be plus or minus. So that leaves us with x minus 8. All right, the exponent and the radical cancel each other out. And that equals plus or minus radical 45. Um, now, the square root of 45 is going to be 3 radical 5. So I'll have x minus 8 is equal to plus or minus 3 radical 5. Okay. And finally, we need to get x by itself by adding 8 to both sides. 
and it goes right in the front. So the final answer will be x is equal to 8 plus or minus 3 radical 5. These are not like terms, so I cannot add these together. I, I, this will not make 11 radical 5. It has to stay like this.